karate, a Japanese martial art that's famed and respected worldwide. Now, Okinawan masters reveal karate's hidden secrets. Here you will discover the true essence of this martial art. Origins of Karate, Masters of the Ancient Tradition. Karate is practiced in over 160 countries by about 50 million people. Karate's roots are said to be a fusion of the traditional Okinawan martial art of tea with Kempo fighting arts imported from China. The Ryukyu Island Kingdom prospered through sea trade due to its location midway between Japan and China. But between the 15th and 16th centuries, this trade was under constant threat from marauding pirates known as Wako. These pirates attacked both shipping and villages along the coast. To fight off pirates, the Okinawans always carried weapons. And in this period, they developed systems of self-defense unique to these islands. Elements from Chinese, Southeast Asian, Korean, and Japanese martial arts were incorporated with Okinawa's own old martial art of tea and systematized into karate and kobudo. Early karate developed in three locations. Shurite in the royal castle of Shuri. Nahate in the commercial city of Naha. And Tomorite, named for a village between Shuri and Naha. Each style produced many famous martial artists. In the 15th century, King Shoshin confiscated all civilian swords to suppress insurrection. And then in 1609, the invading Satsuma clan banned the carrying of all weapons. The Ryukyu warriors responded by developing Kobudo, a secret martial art using common household, farming, or fishing tools as weapons. Another effect of the Satsuma ban on martial activity was to drive karate underground, where its practitioners continued to train in secret. For about 250 years, the secrets of karate were handed on behind closed doors. It was only after the 19th century Meiji Restoration that the Kobudo arts surfaced and the systematization of modern karate began. The masters who contributed most to this revival were Sokon Matsumura of Shurite, Kosaku Matsumura of Tomarite, and Kanyo Higaona of Nahate. In 1908, Anko Itotsu wrote the Ten Precepts of Karate. The influence of this work led to karate becoming part of the official school sports system. The era of karate as a secret closed-door martial art had come to an end. In the early 20th century, karate spread throughout Japan thanks to masters such as Gichin Funokoshi, founder of Shotokan Ryu, Kenwa Mabuni, founder of Shito Ryu, Kanbun Uechi, founder of Uechi Ryu, and Chojun Miyagi, founder of Goju Ryu. In Okinawa, karate flourished due to the efforts of masters like Chotoku Kyan, Choki Motobu, and Choshin Chibana, founder of Shorin Ryu. 
In the years after World War II, active Okinawan karate styles included Shorin Ryu, Goju Ryu, Uechi Ryu, and Shorin Ryu. Shorin Ryu and Ishin Ryu started spreading in the central Chubu part of Okinawa. 1969 saw the first All Japan Karate Championships. At the 1994 Asian Games, karate was recognized as an official event. From their roots in Okinawa, karate and kobudo had now become popular worldwide sports. Many Okinawan karate styles, or ryuha, were founded between the last half of the 18th century and the early part of the 19th. After World War II, these styles formed the basis of modern karate. Let's take a quick look at the history of the styles. Today's Okinawan karate has four major styles, shurite, nahate, tomorite, and uechi ryu. Shurite, founded by Sokon Motsumura, later split into three schools, two called Shorin Ryu, with names written differently in Japanese, and Shorinji Ryu. One Shorin Ryu school was developed by Choshin Chibana, following the teachings of Sokon Motsumura. This school, named in 1933, played a major role in popularizing karate. The other Shorin Ryu was created by Chotoku Kyan, a disciple of Sokon Motsumura. In 1952, Kyan's student Zenro Shimabukuro would found the Shorin Ryu Seibukan School. Shorinji Ryu was founded in 1955 by Joen Nakazato, a student of Chotoku Kyan. He chose the name to reflect his philosophy of going back to the origins of Shurite, Shorinji being the Japanese meaning Shaolin Temple. From the Nahate lineage came Goju Ryu. Goju Ryu was founded by Chojun Miyagi, disciple of Kanryo Higaona, founder of Nahate. Miyagi used the principles of Japanese martial arts to incorporate the unarmed techniques he learned in China's Fujian province into a rational scientific system that provided both physical and martial arts training. This was the birth of modern karate. The name Goju Ryu was taken from an old poem called The Eight Laws of the Fist. It teaches three major sets of kata, basic kihon kata, open hand kaishu kata, and closed hand heishu kata. Tomori was the main Ryukyu trading port. After studying with two famous Tomari masters, Kishin Teruya and Kairyo Uku, Kosaku Matsumura founded Tomarite at the start of the 19th century. Seiyu Nakasone, the post-war inheritor of Tomarite, took no disciples, and for a time the style was thought to be lost. However, the Tomorite tradition survived through Iken Tokashiki and his Gohakukai. Another line descends from Sokon Motsumura's direct disciples, Chotoku Kyan and Choki Motobu, to Shoshin Nagamine.
in honor of Sokon Matsumura. And to Morite's Kosaku Matsumura, Nagamine called his style Shorin Ryu, where this show is written using the same character as the Matsu beginning the two masters' names. Uechi Ryu was founded by Kanbun Uechi. In 1897, at the age of 20, Uechi went to Fujian province in China, where he studied under Xu Shiwa, a famous teacher of southern style Shaolin boxing. After 13 years of rigorous training, Uechi returned to Okinawa and opened a dojo. His style is named after him. Now for a demonstration of typical kata from each style. Many of the differences in movement and steps between the styles are a result of their different roots. One of these roots is Chinese Kenpo or Kung Fu. Kenpo can be broadly divided into northern and southern styles. The old Chinese saying, South Boat, North Horse, refers to the main forms of transportation in the two regions. This is also reflected in their martial arts. The basic northern stance resembles a man riding a horse. Shurite traces its roots to the northern Shaolin styles. First, Let's look at Shurite's Shorin Ryu. The major kata handed down from Sokon Matsumura included Pasai, Kusaku, Jion, and Sochin. Katsuya Miyahira is a 10th Dan master of Shorin Ryu and designated an intangible cultural asset of Okinawa. <laughs> A feature of Shodin Ryu is the ability to instantly deliver concentrated power. Now let's watch a demonstration of some Shodin Ryu kata. Jion is performed with calm, smooth movements but with a fiercely intense spirit. It trains you how to correctly change direction, rotate the body, and other fundamentals such as footwork. When practicing, it is important to focus on correct stance. Executing techniques precisely and with a dynamic rhythm, and to coordinate hands and feet when changing direction.
Uso Chin is one of the older kata in the Shirite lineage. The first half appears to be simple repetitions of basic movements. But then it suddenly changes in the second half to pressing palm blocks, spear hand strikes to the solar plexus, and high snap kicks. Kushanku is one of the main kata of Shurite. It is said that it was taught to the Okinawans in the 18th century by a visiting Chinese master named Ko Shokun. This complex kata rhythmically attacks and defends, combining solidly grounded and light agile movements. Kushanku, show! Let's look at some of the applications of Kushanku Sho. This kata was created to respond to attackers coming from all four directions. Each technique of the kata combines blocks, 
body shifting, and attack. It's intended to counter any kind of attack, not just hand techniques. Pasai Dai. Pasai means to break through a surrounding line of enemies. With an abundance of offensive and defensive movements, it includes most of Shodun Yu's basic techniques. Many of these techniques block, then instantly counterattack. Chibana Kushanku was jointly created by Choshin Chibana and Kanken Toyama, a direct disciple of Anko Itosu. For a long time, this kata was thought to be lost. It incorporates a wide range of attack and defense techniques, notably one in the middle of the kata that blocks a kick and counterattacks immediately by pressing down.
Zenryo Shimabukuro perfected his own kata based on the seven he learned from Chotoku Kyan. Fast and agile, they skillfully combine attacking and defending techniques. Let's look at a typical Shorinryu kata. Kusonku contains big moves like the double front snap kick, techniques against the staff, and even moves for fighting in total darkness. Let's look at some of Kusanku's many applications. This move blocks an attack from behind with a back fist and follows with an elbow strike. Use the sword hand to block a punch and follow with a kick. You have to be prepared for surprise attacks that come mid-movement. Next, let's look at Shorinjiryu, another style in the Shurite lineage. Many of its distinctive techniques assume multiple opponents attacking from all sides. Solidly grounded and agile, Shurinjiryu kata are practical and combat effective. A direct disciple of Chotoku Kyan, from whom he learned the traditional kata. Joen Nakazato founded Shorenjiryu in 1955. Recognized by Okinawa as an intangible cultural asset holder, Nakazato was president of the All Okinawa Shorenjiryu Karate Do Association. あれだけ有名な家柄の生まれさらに高い学問をなさった方が非常に謙虚な口調で生活態度も非常に謙虚でそういうような剣上徳先生の人間性に惚れてその先生の伝える方を伝承しているわけですけれども例えば全く報酬
シェアカスサイドと区長に惚れてキャン先生の伝授した少林寺流を継承してるわけです。まあ、空さん君の説明が一番わかりやすいかもしれませんね。十五円の月の丸のように円満に話し合いで解決しようじゃないか。それでも相手は聞かないでやろうとする。それでこちらをまだまだ、それでもまだ三回相手をなだめてからすぐに始まるわけですね。他のスルーティー関係の空さん君はもう次から始まるんです。ところがキャン先生の場合には3個まで相手をなだめるんですそういうようなところがあの素晴らしい方だと思います Now let's look at the main kata of Shorinji Ryu Kusanku This first kata expresses the ideal that karate never attacks first It's a technically difficult kata with many sidekicks using the edge of the foot One shoe. This kata uses a unique knife hand block. Its many highly practical techniques include a block that turns into a shoulder throw. Pasai. Make contact and grasp your opponent as if you were feeling for him in the dark. Attacks include kicks to the joints using the edge of the foot. Useishi. Knife hand blocks, backhand blocks, continuous spear hand strikes. Defense against someone holding your elbows from behind. Double blocks and double punches. Useishi contains numerous techniques. Chinto. With high level techniques like the jumping double kick and the crane on a rock, this kata is characterized by agile and sharp movements. Seisan. The first half of the kata in particular focuses on abdominal breathing. Seisan is the basic kata used by Shorinji Ryu to master the close connection between breathing and attack and defense. Tokumine no kun. Using a staff about six feet long, this traditional kata contains techniques for continuous blocks, stabbing, and thrusting. It is unique to Shorinji Ryu. Ananku. Another kata unique to the Shorinji Ryu tradition. Containing all the basic moves like continuous punches, knife hand blocks, two hand blocks, and elbow strikes, it is the first kata taught in Shorinji Ryu. Nahate traces its roots to Chinese southern style boxing. South boat, north horse. In southern China, canals and rivers are the major transport routes, and southern style boxing stances often resemble those of a standing oarsman. From the Nahate lineage comes Goju-ryu, founded by Chojun Miyagi. Miyagi's favorite student 
initiated into all 12 kata of Goju-ryu by the young age of 18, was Meitoku Yagi. After Miyagi's death, Yagi served as chairman of the Okinawa Karate-do Goju-ryu Association. Yagi was influential in spreading Goju-ryu from Okinawa to Japan and then internationally to the U.S., Brazil, France, Israel, and many other countries. Sanchin is the fundamental kata of Goju-ryu Karate. With all the muscles tensed, a special breathing method called Ibuki is practiced. The mind must be totally focused, with sharp, sharp sounds made on both in-breath and out-breath. Mei Tatsuyagi was taught by his father, Mei Tokuyagi. He currently heads the International Meibukan Goju-ryu Karate Association. ヤギメイトク先生から指導を受けまして、私はその影響でま、5、6歳から
、えー、それで我々の時代も自由組とは全くなくて、まあ、基本の三鎮から始まり、まあ、症状の方とか、えー、約束組というものを、えー、週6日ですね月曜日から土曜まで練習しておりました、えー、宮城長順先生は獅子というマークつくと獅子を取る非常に視力が強かったということで青竹を握りつぶしたということで非常にこの視力が強かったということはそれで宮城先生の好きな言葉は、まあ、うちの道場訓練もありますけれども「大名在連心」ということがございまして今も我が道場の道場訓ですが、まあ、奥義に到達するためにはまず精神を修行しないといかんといわゆる精神修行を修目的にして空手を指導していたと考えられます。えー、五十両の基本型に三鎮というのがございまして、まあ、それはあの呼吸法を伴って肉体を鍛錬するんですが、まあ、それはあの気を沈めて肉体を鍛錬して、えー、健康な肉体と精神を培うということで基本を忠実にそれとその他の方々方ですね方とか役職組と一緒に練習しております。生前あの、シフヤギメイトクは常々話しておりましたが、えー、空手を修練する人は、えー、空手そのものを目的とはいけないと、えー、空手を通して人生を勉強するんだということで、要するに精神修行を立派な人間を育成するというのが主目的で、私はそれを国内、海外にも指導理念として指導しております。Seipai includes many effective self defense strikes and evading techniques for close combat, such as back fist punches and strikes. A continuous flow of techniques applied in circular motions, this kata demands a high level of skill. Seienshin is a kata with a southern boxing flavor, having no kicks and performed in a square stance. This powerful kata contains many hand techniques, including various back fist strikes, and builds a strong lower body.
The Suparimpe Kata gives us a glimpse into the inner secrets of Goju-ryu. It is the longest kata of this style, with techniques to defend against multiple attackers coming from all directions. It has a unique tempo, mixing fast and slow techniques. Rokishu. This is a kata from Southern Shaolin White Crane Boxing that Chojun Miyagi used as the base to create Tensho, the most representative of Goju-ryu kata. Focusing strength in the Tanden, through correct breathing and posture, this kata trains your ki, breathing, and body.
tomorite is characterized by the way the hips are used. Movements are done naturally and without stress at first, aiming to match the natural breathing rhythm. From a natural stance, you develop agility and body control, learning to execute the techniques at any tempo you wish. When performing the kata, you must always focus on the meaning of the movements, aiming for a balance of speed, power, and stability. Group training helps synchronize breathing and harmonize with others' movements. It's a highly effective training method much used in Tomarite. Iken Tokashiki is an inheritor of the Tomarite tradition and head of the Tomarite Karate Do Kyokai. つまりは首里城に近いこともオーフは特に武術に秀でた役人たちを常駐させ港の警護に当たらすそのために他流派と異なった実践にそこをした独特の泊まり手が誕生したのではないかと言われておりますまた泊まり手の剣の構え方は首
速度が速くなるというそれによって受けや月あるいは蹴りなどのスピードが増してくるだから腰を使う場合には肩の中の初動作に対して腰を丁寧に入れる稽古をしなければならないと言われております私もそのように文科生たちの指導育成に努めております Rohai is a kata that Kotatsu Iha inherited from Kosaku Matsumura. It contains many clever techniques, including the winding punch for use in close combat. Its distinctive crane stands on rock movement is both swift and imposing. Control your opponent's hands and pull back your left hand as if to apply a knife hand strike. But instead, quickly punch his chest with the other fist. From a cat stance, kick upwards into his abdomen, then punch his right midsection. Turn to evade the attack and use your left palm to block his strike downwards. Now counterattack while simultaneously grabbing and pulling his arm. He grabs both your wrists. Cross arms to break free, then counterattack with a combination Chudan straight punch and Gedan back fist punch. Uechi Ryu's founder, Kanbun Uechi, refined the style's techniques in the post-war period, adding kumite to the basic kata he learned from his teacher, Shu Shiwa. The three kata imitate the dragon, tiger, and crane. The style is focused on attack, with open-handed strikes, agile movements, and special breathing methods. Sun Seiru. This kata's constantly changing movements repulse attacks from all directions with a mix of circular and linear motions. Attack and defense is rapid and forceful, and the feet step forward with intimidating power.
Minoru Miyagi is chairman of the Okinawa Uechiryu Karate Do Hozonkai. Uechiryu to a Chugo Godewa Pangai no Ryu, Ryu Kokaku, Ryu Tora Tsuru Mitsuru Dobus Kara Amida Sageta Karate no Wazada to Iwarete Mas. Shodai Uechi Kanbun Sensei ga Chugo Godewa Kenshou Fukushio ni Watari Mashite, Jiu Su Nen Kan Karate Kanpo Yaku no Shugyo Nasare, Genzai de おきなわにも近いり現在でのウェイチリュウでと呼ばれていますあの三鎮でですね体を鍛えますそしてお経は全部和受けという形で和を全部流してですね自分から流して受けるのがウェイチリュウの特徴ですやはり自分がクソイに
Itawari. Board breaking. Daily practice forges a body capable of resisting impact. One way to test this is by breaking boards. Your mind must be fully focused on the fingertips in order to succeed. Bat breaking. Among karate's most powerful attacks are its kicking techniques. Legs and feet must be strengthened, and this includes the toes. The ability to break a baseball bat on the toes demonstrates mastery of this training. え、戦前今でいう という精神面の え、それぞれの流派、え、方はい。え、
特徴があり国道の方は健康や寿命に大変良いと伝え継がれております型による連続動作複合動作融合動作はそれを演じる人の意思によって微妙に変化するところもまた興味深いというところです In the final section, let's watch some demonstrations of Kobudo. Kobudo dates back to the time when the people of Ryukyu were forbidden to carry weapons. Instead, they invented ways to use everyday items for self protection. Horse implements were modified into nunchaku and tekko, and the eku was derived from an oar. Many such seemingly innocent weapons were developed. Double Nunchaku. The Nunchaku was originally meant to be used to weaken and subdue attacking hoodlums or violent crowds. That's why Nunchaku Kata all begin with defensive blocks. Hamahiga no Tonfa. The Tonfa is also made of wood. The sticks are thicker than Nunchaku and have attached short handles. Tonfa kata make use of karate techniques such as blocking, striking, and flailing. The Sai is said to be a Buddhist religious implement that came to Okinawa from India via China. A rarity among martial arts, Sai Jutsu aims to disarm opponents without injury, using a variety of stabbing, striking, and blocking techniques. Peace! 
Kun. The staff is very different than the fist. Any part can be used as a blade, making this a uniquely versatile weapon. Its whole six feet can be used for sweeping, stabbing, or striking. Gamma, single and double. The kama, or sickle, was the most common farm tool easily converted into a weapon. It doesn't have special kata, instead mostly adapting karate techniques for its blocks and stabs, strikes and cuts. It can also be thrown on a chain. The eku was originally a fisherman's oar. Employing techniques from stick fighting, it makes a fine offensive or defensive weapon. One unique technique is called sunakake. When fighting on a beach or at sea, the eku is used to blind an opponent by flicking sand or seawater in his eyes before you cut him down.
Kanigawa no Tinbe. Tinbe is a shield and short spear combination. It was used in battle during Okinawa's 14th century warring Sanzan period. The shield spear combination allows powerful attacks as well as defense against most weapons, and the distinctive movements provide all round protection. Maizato no Tekko. Tekko were a type of horseshoe common on farms, meaning they were always handy in case of sudden attack. Worn on the fists, they increased the effectiveness of karate moves. The horseshoe shape was later modified for easier carrying and use in self defense. Nunti. Nunti was a weapon used in Ming Dynasty China. Originally a fishing spear, the Buddhist swastika shaped prongs were designed to hook fish. Nunti fighting techniques use these prongs, and it can also be thrown like a spear. Nuti. The Nuti is said to be Okinawa's oldest martial art. Intended for self defense, the kata begin with blocks and sweeps to escape a choke or hold. Unlike the other kobudo weapons, which were improvised from farm and fishing tools, the Nuti was designed as a weapon from the very beginning. え、空手
強くなるばかりではなくその鍛錬の過程においては精神ともに素晴らしい優れた人間形成という実に素晴らしいスピリットがありその精神が国境を越えかつ国籍を越えて理解されてきたと今や世界に空手を学ぶ国々は163カ国を数えその愛好者の数は 4,800 万人とも要し大盛況にあります。今後もそれを糧にまた世界の人々がなおかつ成長しそして広がりを見せてくれればと願ってやまないところであります。最後になりますけども国内外の空手の方々に何か起こる言葉がありましたらお願いします。世界に誇る精神文化は、レイト説で始まり、レイソ説で終わるを常に念頭に置き、この尊い無形、文化武術を保存し、研究していくことが、民族の義務と責任であり、また誇りであります。カルテ行動を一地方にとどめることなく、今後もさらに広く世界の国々に、紹介し平和民族の武術として国民体育の資料としてそしてこの文化を世界の人々の道義の向上健全なる精神を作り上げる原動力として技術の面でも精神の面でも。世界にリードする人材の育成に全力を傾けていただければと願ってやまないところであります。